Think the contents of your smartphone are private? Well, think again if you plan to head to the States this summer. Civil liberties groups are warning that Canadian border guards have powers you might find surprising. Sheila Scott is live at the Peace Arch Crossing. And Sheila, talk about a timely warning. Well, a lot of people are going to be heading south into the U.S. for the long weekend. But what if you're heading back north into Canada and the border guard asks not just to see your phone, but also for the password? A lot of people don't know their privacy rights, and that has some concern. We're all used to border guards asking questions when crossing into Canada. They're definitely thorough. They're definitely serious. But what about the personal information on your phone and electronics? I don't think that's fair for them to look at our phones. The public really doesn't know what their rights are at the border. That's why the BC Civil Liberties Association has published this privacy handbook meant to help people not just ask to hand over their devices, but also their passwords. In that moment, uh, what we recommend is that you uh, ask, do I have to provide my password or not? Um, hopefully they say no, but for the most part, we think that they're going to say yes. CBSA officers are allowed to do a cursory search to look at things that already exist on the device, like photos or messages. For people who refuse to punch in their password, you risk losing access to your device for maybe even months on end. The CBSA rules are similar to what Canadians face when entering the U.S. In the U.S. secondary inspection, I frequently see U.S. officers going through Canadians' cell phones. Numbers obtained by CTV News show between November of last year and July of this year, about 9,300 people had their devices looked at by the CBSA. They claim the searches are only done under certain circumstances, but it's not clear what those circumstances are. What we're hearing and what we're seeing is that it's happening as a routine um, measure. The best advice may be the easiest. Don't put crap out on your devices. Be careful and, and cognizant of what you've got out there. Too many people aren't. They're careless and they don't think it matters. It matters a lot. Okay, Sheila, so what should people do to avoid problems at the border? Well, believe it or not, a phone is considered a regular good, just like anything else you would bring in your vehicle crossing the border. So the best advice is really just to be careful what you're bringing into the country. Mijang. All right. Thank you, Sheila.